malaria diagnosis. Microscopic examination remains the gold standard for laboratory confirmation of malaria. This test should be performed immediately when ordered by a healthcare provider. They should not be saved for the most qualified staff to perform or batched for convenience. In addition, these tests should not be sent out to reference laboratories, with results available only days to weeks later. It is vital that healthcare providers receive results from these tests within hours in order to appropriately treat their patients infected with malaria. A blood specimen collected from the patient is spread as a thick or thin blood smear, stained with the Romanovsky stain, most often GIMSA, and examined with a 100x oil immersion objective. Visual criteria are used to detect malaria parasites and to differentiate, when possible, the various species. Microscopy is an established, relatively simple technique that is familiar to most laboratorians. Any laboratory that can perform routine hematology tests is equipped to perform a thin and thick malaria smear. Within a few hours of collecting the blood, the microscopy test can provide valuable information. First and foremost, it can determine that malaria parasites are present in the patient's blood. Once the diagnosis is established, usually by detecting parasites in the thick smear, the laboratorian can examine the thin smear to determine the malaria species and the parasitemia, or the percentage of the patient's red blood cells that are infected with malaria parasites. The thin and thick smears are able to provide all three of these vital pieces of information to the doctor to guide the initial treatment decisions that need to be made acutely. A rapid diagnostic test is an alternate way of quickly establishing the diagnosis of malaria infection by detecting specific malaria antigens in a person's blood. Technique Procedures a blood specimen collected from the patient is applied to the sample pad on the test card along with certain reagents. After 15 minutes, the presence of specific bands in the test card window indicate whether the patient is infected with Plasmodium falciparum or one of the other three species of human malaria. Advantages High quality malaria microscopy is not always immediately available in every clinical setting where patients might seek medical attention. Although this practice is discouraged, many healthcare settings either save blood samples for malaria microscopy until a qualified person is available to perform the test or send the blood samples to commercial or reference laboratories. These practices have resulted in long delays in diagnosis. The laboratories associated with these healthcare settings may now use an RDT to more rapidly determine if their patients are infected with malaria. Disadvantages The use of the RDT does not eliminate the need for malaria microscopy. The RDT may not be able to detect some infections with lower numbers of malaria parasites circulating in the patient's bloodstream. Also, there is insufficient data available to determine the ability of this test to detect the two less common plasmodium species. Therefore, all negative allegations.